Sunny Lane Camper Action. Well, been down the river, buddy of mine's house, good chunk of the day. It is 20 till 2 in the morning. Had a few beers and a few cocktails. And I caught something. I don't know if you can see in there. It's an eel. And guess what? I had never even seen an eel before other than in an aquarium or on, you know, Animal Planet or some shit like that, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this eel and cook it up. So, be right back at you. I'm going to throw this eel on this board. I am going to have a cameraman tonight, so this will just be done in some uh, segments. Ooh, listen to this song. See headlights. Love me some old crow. So anyways, I'll be back at you in a second. So, I'm back here for a second. Still the same song. I'll turn it up a little bit. Got a little buzz going on. So check that fucking thing out. Ain't that an evil looking fucking thing? So there's a huge story to go along with this. Um, I'm going to do my research after I get done cleaning it. And I'll um, I'll add some um, text to this video telling you a little bit about this eel. Supposedly they come all the way from the um, southern seas, southern Americas and the seas or some islands or some shit like that. I'm not sure. I'll have to read upon all that. But there's a quick view of them. I'll be back. He'll be being gutted when you see him again. So, why not? Do it with something I won. Midwest, Midwest middle class. I won this uh, SOG on a giveaway. So that's what I'm going to use to get it. I wish I could film it while I was doing it, but like I said, I don't have a camera, man. So I'll catch you in a second. All right. That's it, pretty much gutted. There's a little head there. I imagine somewhere that's like a delicacy. Not a whole lot of guts. Washed a few down the drain. I think I pretty much got it. Now I gotta figure out how to clean the rest of it. And I'll be back at you in a moment. So check that shit out. It ain't been two minutes. And I peeled the skin off. There's the skin down there. So, I'm guessing, from what my buddy tells me, I just need to horseshoe it up and fry it. And, of course, you're going to get some of that, too. Be back in a few. Yo, I'm back again. Figured, uh, while I'm doing all this, I must have grabbed me a glass of some of my homemade strawberry wine. There we go. See ya. Mmm. God damn. Awful good. So. It's all clean. Flayed up. This is some fins. I, like I said, I'm, I don't even know if I even told you. I've never done this shit before. I've never even seen a fucking eel before. So. That's all the nasty, I guess. We cleaned up the stove already. So, be back in a few moments. Alright. So anyways, I'm going to delete that last one because um, I realized it was still zoomed in. So I went fishing with a buddy of mine down on, uh, down on the river. That's where I did the uh, flood video at. And uh, he caught a couple of nice little channel catfish and a uh, decent size uh, bluegill. I caught a mid-sized, smaller than what he caught, uh, channel, and I caught a perch, but, uh, one of the guys that was down there drinking with us, he was like, um, what did he say, he was like, careful what you catch, I was like, shit, anything I catch on my hook, I'll eat, like, you don't want to catch an eel, and not even five minutes later, I caught this eel, 
So, funny little story added to you. I'm going to be slurring a little bit, but, you know, it is after 2 in the morning. I'm still drinking wine, so... I've got this fish soaking, or it's not fish, but this eel soaking here, and um, I'm going to whip together a flour batter, get my uh, iron cast iron going, and you'll see it um, probably cooking next time, so we'll see you in a couple. Yep, I'm back again. Can you hear that noise? It is. Picked me up a new fucking cast iron the other night. I think it was a drunken night at Kroger. After one of my gigs. Been using that little thing up there. And we graduated up to this. Pretty badass stuff, so. Anyways, just washed it, so there's a little bit of water in it. We're gonna let that heat up. I've got my flour mixture, because I'm just going to do this like I would uh, regular fish. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a egg in um, milk wash, and then my uh, flour here, which is some Lowry's garlic salt, some Kroger's onion powder, pepper, A little bit of love, yeah. So, hope you guys are having a good time as I am tonight. It's a beautiful night to be out there on the river. And uh, don't forget, I've got my um, 100 subscriber giveaway. 100 subscriber giveaway. Mm. Homemade wine. My 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, I plan on doing a video showing everything I'm giving away here next few days. I've got to go see um, Wise Foods and pick up uh, their 72-hour emergency kit that they're giving me. That's like the grand prize type thing, but, you know, straight up for them guys uh, hooking me up. So, I uh, will be back. I'm going to smoke my cigarette, drink some more wine, and listen to some Scott Miller here. Listen to my uh, bluegrass for the night. So I'll be back in a minute. Back at you. You see, cocktail or uh, wine's gone down. Starting to get tired. Mm. That shit's so good. So there we go. All the nuggets. My buddy told me to horseshoe it and cook it. So I horseshoed half of it. The rest of it in here. It's pretty much filet. Big ass chunks. Look at that. Mmm. So that's my egg wash. There's my flour. There's my skillet. So I told you a story about that. That was a pretty cool story. About, uh, fishing down there and um, catching that perch and that guy was like saying he wouldn't eat it and I said I'll eat anything I catch and he's like don't catch an eel and I said I'd eat an eel too and it gets on that hook I'll eat so guess what I'm rope into cooking this eel and eating it tonight it was I don't know, after two earlier it's 2.33 so down at the long haul I got at least another glass of strawberry wine. I think. I'm gonna look around here. Nope, oh, there it is. The strawberry wine was bottled in 424 of 12, so it's well over a year old. Damn, it's good. Wish I had another bottle of it set for another year, but. Nah, that's another story. Hey, I am going to be bottling some wine here in the next couple days. I've got to get it bottled, so I've got to show you guys. So, we'll talk to you in a few. Yep, back again. So, there's what's left of my strawberry wine from a year ago that I made. Mm -hmm. 
full of glass. Not hardly any fucking sediment left in that thing. That's good shit there. Sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy. I'll check that out. Mm. Look at that shit just fucking cooking away. It's American Eel. I did a little research on it. And um, it's kind of rare for around here. My buddy was telling me it was a $2,000 fish, but come to find out that's like $2,000 for babies, and there's like 10 billion of them in a, in a pound of those, so... But anyways, um, anyways, it is still a, um, a rare thing to get, and um, to me as a prepper standpoint of it, if I can catch it, I'm going to eat it. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I think this is all I'm going to cook up tonight. I think I'm just going to take the uh, big giant ass filet in there and stick it in the refrigerator for tomorrow, because I've got this glass of wine to drink. And uh, that eel to eat. I'm sure you see I bought cross eyed already. So, why don't y'all tell me what you guys done this weekend? Anything fun, interesting? To me, this is the most interesting thing I've done in a long time. Other than make my paracord bracelet. Ah. So, I'll get back at you here when I get this stuff plated up. Alright, see you in a few. Yep, I'm back. Check it out. Got some meal. The rest of it's cooking up some of the thicker pieces. So, here we go. We'll take the smallest piece first. I don't know if you can see it. It should be steaming. There we go. Oh my god. No. Oh. Oh my god. Holy shit. I've never tasted anything like this before in my life. <laughs> you see it steaming. Look at that. That's all freaking meat. <laughs> this is so freaking good. I ain't put nothing on it. It's got little tiny. I don't even know if I'm a fucking even bones. Mmm. Holy crap. Actually, bones don't even feel like bones. Mmm. Right. Mmm. I guess you're gonna have that. Mm. Wow, man. Shit's good. I get back hey, in a moment. I'm gonna enjoy some of this, alright? Wow. I'll tell you this. It does have a little bones in it. But I've been a long time fish eater from being a little kid. I know how to get past them. A couple pieces left on there. I just wanted to share with you guys. American Eel, it's good shit. They are rare to catch, but they're out there. They're not endangered. So when I started uh, researching them, I was kind of worried about that. I was wondering if I was going to uh, do a video on it. Oh, but look at that, too. <laughs> Sweet ass freaking strawberry wine. You're 21 and you win my giveaway. You might get a little taste of something that I make. Look at that. Beautiful. So, anyways, I'm going to proceed to uh, grub out. 
I've still got that way over there to finish cooking. And um, I'm going to go ahead and call this video a wrap here, man. Uh, I've cooked it. I've ate it. I cleaned it. I caught it. <laughs> and a buzz. And um, that's the video. So, anyways, Sunny Lion Camper out. We'll see you on the trail. See how rare this thing is, man. All right. So, oh, how's it going there, YouTube? I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Drag it over in front of this white table here. Right here. All right, hold it back a little bit. Peoria Lake. Yeah, uh, you guys can't see this thing worth a shit. Anyway, so I just caught an eel out of the Illinois River. Uh, my buddy says it's like gold. $2,000. So he says a $2,000 fish. <laughs> I don't see that. No. Really? Go on YouTube, G. I can't go on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So anyways, there's a picture of my eel. We're going to horseshoe it out and deep.